Hello there guys and welcome back to Tax TV. Thank you for joining as ever. So yes, you can tell from the title, Dominic Fraser has finally been announced. This has taken forever, however, before we talk about him and the signing and a few other things to talk about. Drop a like on the video and subscribe if you're not subscribed to keep up to date with all the latest bands, FC transfer news, etc. And things coming in and out of Oakwell. Now, we haven't uploaded for a few days. I've had a couple of days off. I uh, hope you don't mind, guys. Uh... Just with obviously the baby and stuff like that, it is getting um, tiring, long nights, etc. So please understand me there. Uh, so we're back anyway. We're back to upload. We've signed Dominique Fraser from uh, Lask uh, for an undisclosed fee. As usual, it's usually an undisclosed fee. Uh, signed a deal until 2022, subject to international clearance. 26-year-old uh, is uh, our second signing of the summer transfer window uh, following uh, German under-20 international uh, Kylian Ludovic who signed on Monday for a season loan. Um, Fraser has made 225 first-team appearances across uh, the Austrian uh, divisions. Also featured Ever Everly Farask uh, in the Europa League like we touched on the other day when uh, it were mentioned. Uh, and they defeated the likes of Sporting Lisbon. He's got goals for them as well. He scored goals. Uh, he's able to operate on either side and also play up front if needed. Uh, this, this to me, is a very exciting signing because the stats look good as well. I don't tend to like to go on stats, but when we're signing players from the overseas who've not played the English game, it's uh, we've got to back ourselves up on stats. And the stats, to me... Look, uh, look very good, and I'm excited to see what this lad's going to be about. I really, really am. He looks the part. He looks, he look, he looks very fit. I mean, I've seen his, his legs, muscles on, muscle proper footballer's legs. Uh, nice to see we're going in for somebody over the age of 25 as well. Listen, we said in January we needed experience in. This is this is a guy who's experienced, not necessarily experienced what we all want in the championship. Like we still need championship experience for me, but this is what clubs like us have to do sometimes, and we get these players. And hopefully, you know, this one is one that's come under the radar. And I tell you what, I saw a few tweets and a few posts online that we have this deal is a very good. You know, we've we've pinched this guy, that we've we've completely like pinched him. Like gone under every other club's radar, so hopefully that proved it proves a point to us, and he proves a point to the football uh, when when it comes to the football because that's what we want. Now we saw players come in from Austria last uh, in January. Ritz Meyer who didn't really hit the heights. I hope to God he does this season. I really do for his sake because yes, we were critical of Marcel Ritz Meyer, but quite rightly because the performances weren't necessarily there. So I hope he has a better campaign. But hopefully, you know, Frazier uh, comes in and it's the ground running. He will immediately join the teammates for the training, which is great. Uh, and yeah, happy days, really. It's the second signing. And we said the other day we needed more signings in than Killian Ludwig. It were, I think it, this one's been obvious for a few days, but obviously I can't. I'm not going to do a video until it's actually confirmed by the football club uh, because then you can, if all happens, you can make yourself look a wally brain. So that's why I've waited. I've been sat refreshing, refreshing and refreshing and eventually it did pop through that uh, the deal was done. Only a two-year contract as well. I, I, I'm pretty sure that might go on an age thing or whether it, that's just what Dominic wanted to sign. Just a two-year deal with us. Uh, but hopefully if, if the performances if any shows well this season, um, we probably might time down. Uh, the year after next season hopefully um, if he has a good season I hope he does and it's nice to see such a versatile player that can play operate either sides and also play up front so that's great to see as well and the goals and not just the goals the assists as well he's well involved and that's another good thing that comes comes from this guy another good thing that comes away with it that he's involved in, in, the, in the game constantly from what I've seen on the stats and everything like that and he played in the Europa League against the likes of Manchester United Sporting Lisbon's uh, in fact they defeated Sporting Lisbon last when, when he were playing so it's yeah there's great this is good this I'm, I'm liking this and it's an undisclosed fee so I'm not sure how much we paid but I can't imagine it being a cheap one if I'm honest from what from what I've heard and what what you look at when you get look at the stats so fantastic news guys honestly brilliant news hopefully he's 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 brilliant when it when he played we need him to be hit the ground running but hopefully he's got that time now signing pre-season coming up fixtures out tomorrow to be able to uh, 
you know, get to know the teammates and everything, get to know uh, Struber and hopefully it pays off. In fact, he, did, he played for uh, Struber's former side that he managed it before Struber's time, but he, he has played for them. Uh, and the last one in other news, guys, uh, Jordan Green has joined Southend United on a six-month uh, loan deal. Uh, Jordan Green made 12 appearances for us uh, in all in all competitions, scoring the one goal, funnily enough, against Southend under the Stendhal era back in League One. Um, for me... I don't. I, I still to this day will never understand why we why we signed Jordan Green. Uh, it, maybe at the time, you know, maybe it was just to appease the fans with Brad Potts going, but he's never had a proper run of games. We, and he's twenty five years old now. I think we'll probably be looking maybe to offload Jordan Green. If I'm honest, I don't know what, why. Maybe we did try. I don't know, but he's clearly not going to fit in the the football side of things for me. Uh, but uh, best of luck to him at Southend. Listen, if he has a good spell, hopefully it does him the world. It needs to do him the world of good. He needs to play football. He's not young. He's not really at a young age now. Twenty five years, you know. Uh, well, it is young, but at the same time, it's at, it's the age where if you are a footballer, you need to be playing regular, and he needs that. So the loan move might do him good. Hopefully, it does him good, and hopefully, if he is going to come back. It, it might it might benefit him or whether whether or not we see him go. But best of luck to him um, for, to uh, to Jordan. But once again, guys, great news that we signed Dominic Fraser on a two year contract. Uh, and best of luck to him when he does sign. So keep at it, Barnsley FC. Let's hopefully get a couple of more heads in as well. We definitely need one, three more, three or four more heads, I would say. Uh, but up to now, you know, it's it's looking good and hopefully get them in before the start of pre-season maybe. So let's go, guys. Once again, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Give the like button a smash. Also, subscribe, like I said, so you don't miss out on the latest videos and hit the notification bell. Put in your comments. Let me know in the comments what you think to this signing, whether you're happy with it, confident that it'll, it'll pay off. Hopefully it does. Hopefully, but looking at it, I am very excited looking at it from what I've seen. So thank you for watching once again, guys. All the best, you Reds.